All right, let's talk about fuel systems. So as you know, I do have the uh, fuel rails from faster.com. These are beautiful fuel rails, specifically designed for the LQ4 or LQ9 truck intake. And um, they fit perfectly. Uh, for the LS4 application, of course, you're gonna want your caps on the uh, left-hand side, on the back end of this intake here. All right, so you cap them off here on the backs. And as for the hoses, um, what I did, and you don't really have to do this, but I did, you know. Everybody's different, but with me, I feel like I had to do this. I had a, I purchased this, uh, this line with the 90 degree angles. Um, also have this hose here. This is gonna be a connect for the fuel. Actually, this can come in a kit. It will come with this, this line here, the caps right here, and it'll come with a, a pair of um, and fittings, eight ands, all right? So he'll work with you, but uh, that's what I got. I got that, and I have also the, uh, the T-crossing. You will need this, of course. So, basically, um, you, you also need additionally, for me, this is what I use. I mean, everybody's different. People might say, well, shit, you didn't have to use all that, but I, I found this best for me. I also purchased an eight-and union. I also ordered a, basically, this is a coupler, an eight-and coupler, and it's a female union. Okay, so you have your eight-and union male to male and female to female a n all right So this is how I'm running it. And you gotta keep in mind, for those who have the all pressure sensor, it'll be slapped right here. So if you just get any old kit, it might run straight into that. So I'm using all this right here to kind of push this line out the way of this all pressure sensor, okay? So on this side, you just put your day ends in, make sure your O-ring is in here. And uh, you just start, uh, Tighten it up, just finger tighten them right now. Go to this side, get in here. Tighten that. Now come back on this side, and I'm gonna go with the, the coupler. And again, what this what this is doing, this is essentially just pushing it out of the way of the oil pressure sensor. Okay, uh, let's see, on this end here, I'm 
going to use the T-crossing and I'm going to uh, screw this in this way. Make sure you don't cross thread these. All right. Now, I go back over here, take the male, and uh, basically tighten it on up here. Now, Nash ready to rock. Now I take my uh, cross line here, okay, 90 degree, take it. With this right here, you just basically turn it and it goes right to it, just like this. As a matter of fact, I'll show you. Alright, so with this, take this, you gotta be kind of careful with it. Kind of gently start. well out of the way of the pressure sensor, all right? It's not touching anything, it's, it's pretty, it's great. It's pretty fantastic. Your, let's see here. All right, let's see here. So with me, I'm using my GM Connect, I'm putting it on a straight, straight line. has a right angle on it too. So I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I might have it this way. Hell, I might even have it like this. Or I might just turn it this way. Either way it goes, this can turn. So. so this can turn, that's the good thing about it, right? So I can, I can bring it around like this. Bring it around this way. Let's see if you can see this. I can bring it this way. You know, this way. I'm more, I think I want to do it like this. I'm not sure. Well, I just have it out this way and it'll, it'll come around. I might have it. This might be the best way because it's the less, uh, I guess, keep that way. The question is the hood, you know. But, Something's going to work. 